Hi everyone, thanks for clicking. In this video, I'm going to be showing you two mathematical formulas with which you can calculate the heading and ground speed of an aircraft without the need for a flight computer, CRP or A6P. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. We're going to start off with the heading. In order for us to find the heading, we need to calculate the wind correction angle, apply that to the track, and then we're going to find a, uh, our heading. So we're going to find heading with this formula right here. So this is the formula right here. The wind correction angle equals the arc sine, which is just the inverse sine. You can access it on the calculator by just pressing shift and sine. So sine of the track minus the wind direction plus the wind speed over the uh, true airspeed. All right, let's do an example together. We have a task, track speed of 125 knots. The track is 336, wind 26012. And we're asked to find the heading and the ground speed. So first, we substitute our givens into the formula, and this is what we get. And if we apply this into our calculator, we get a wind correction angle of about 5.3 degrees. Let's say just 5. So the track is 336, and the wind is blowing from the left, so we correct into the wind. So the track minus the wind correction angle, which is 336 minus 5 degrees, and we get a heading of roughly 331. If you cross check it on the flight computer or any um, app, you will find exactly a heading of 331. And now that we have found the heading, let's move into the ground speed. So this is the formula to find ground speed. It's the square root of the test squared plus wind speed squared minus 2 times the test times the wind speed times the cosine of the heading minus the wind direction. Keep in mind, guys, this is the heading and not the track in this formula. So again, let's do an example. Now let's substitute our givens into the formula. So we have a task of 125 squared plus the wind um, speed squared minus 2 times task again, which is 125 times 12 times the cosine of the heading, previously found, 331, minus 260. We get about 121.6, so we'll round it up to 122. And this is how we do it in the, uh, the calculator. All right, this is the calculator, guys. So first, the square root, and then we have 125 squared plus 12 squared minus 2, and then we open a parentheses, times the test, 125, times wind speed 12 times the cosine of the heading 331 minus wind direction 260 and we open we close the parentheses twice and this is what we get 121.6 so it's roughly 122 knots ground speed I hope uh, this video was helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions, please uh, make sure you leave them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer you guys. So until next video, cheers and happy landings.